I'm in the club, I snuck the rocket in, bitch, who was stank? This lip is bustin', better chill before she catch a strain Stop poppin' perkies, but this addict got a nigga up Them boys that took your chain, they back the up and set you up Bitch, catch a play for this shit slappin', just do what I do Be rollin', folks know I'm on business, tryin' to catch these blues I be the game, and she, she know, she just like to play I'm from the foes, grew up young, fuckin' out of chain I, I, I keep it cash to play a role, a bitch, keep in it line You with the school, but I was fuckin' hoes and told nine Shit, every day we on the lip, folks let me know the play This bitch is Jay, she see the band, wanna throw where I stay One way to fly, I'm in a gust and then she on the way I, I, I like the greedy shit, come eat it up, put it on the plate Can't eat shit, but if we dub, show you how to eat No late night cooking, dope and great kitchen while she sleep Ain't waste no time, it's fucked up, so I heard some niggas dead Daddy text her, go text the chat, nigga, get some bread See, I be swiping, I be moving, trying to run it up And ain't no robbing me, my nigga brought it in the club Hundred rounds, man, down I bust it up, that's my now Say it's good, I'm trying to throw him. Big bag, we up now. Top is at the trick. You know I got a four. <laughs> Top is at the trick and kicking those and jumping fences. What? Top is at the trick and kicking those and jumping fences. Woo! Top is at the trick and kicking those and jumping fences. Count yes, those. Sure. And fucking niggas, bitches, man. Oh, yeah. Last season, we out, man. Fat boy, friend, check it in. Be love G. Just Jazz. The 300 is Yeah, 300 is gone. Shout out 300 Twan, man. It's the season finale. This is our last episode of how many, season one. How many episodes did we do this season? 11. 11. Ooh, beastie. And clown on every one of them. Yeah, I, think I want we, y'all to know that. We definitely, we definitely got to do like a little video. I see you put that up. Yeah, we I'm going to try to do all the highlights all the of this season. Got to get that shit. And how much y'all acted a damn thing. Hell yeah. I've been mellow, man. I've been chilling. I don't know what he talking about. I've been chilling. You know what? Since his last season, fuck it. Fuck it. Shut off. Shut off. <laughs> Fuck yeah. No, y'all. Hey, hold on. I gotta. I ain't even on live. Hold on, folks. No. Hold on, folks. It's live. Hold on. <laughs> we going hey, over the motherfucking bang. Hey, he came. I got fighting the more. We came prepared, fool. Yeah, we came. Buddy, y'all. They did. Hey, this is what the shit they want to see. So we gonna get on the shit. Oh, bullshit. Hey, I gotta be myself. I won't be me if I don't get lit nasty. This nigga injury, bro. Oh, that hey. started off the episode. Well, I hey. tell you. We're going to start like this. Hey, when me and Bank Roll get this motherfucking billboard, you bitches better roll past that shit and record it on our seat. I'm not playing. <laughs> First ass seven, we not playing. Even though we're sitting I'm not playing no more. Fuck that season two. We're going there. I'm not playing. Hey. Wow, what the hell? Hey, they no, wanted the monster. They're working with the monster. Are you okay? Hell no, we turned up. You're sick of your mind. First off, I got to just get this shit off my chest. Mm-hmm. Here. I'm going to AZ tomorrow. Toro going to taste me today, 18 hours before. Uh, you're, uh, can- We canceling the car due to a, a car crash. I don't give a fuck. Now ask me seven, eight hundred dollars I don't give a fuck. Accommodate me now. They don't get somebody that speak any of them. I don't want to speak to his ass. Supervisor me, please. <laughs> I was on the phone with them for four hours today. This nigga said supervisor me. Please. Four fucking hours. And he gave me some bullshit. But you know what? I'm a real street nigga. I'm finessing that ass when I get back. Shut up. Dispute. <laughs> dispute. I don't give a fuck. It wasn't me. Dispute. I wanted to see. It. I'm disputing that shit. Yeah, I was not in AZ. I'm sitting in the cash. To shorty, here you go. Sir, that is an illegal crime. I don't give a <laughs> fuck. Stop <laughs> saying illegal shit on the podcast. Illegal we, me. We are promoting positivity, <laughs> black love, and everything Absolutely. else. We not no illegal activity. Speaking of black love, then so you speaking of black love. I fuck with South Carolina. I don't care. They did some real street shit. They would have tell a nigga Chris. Yeah, you know the thing with I dog, like that. I motherfuckers know who to play with. They know who to play with. Go bro. to his house though. Yeah, no, they did. They stepped. They were supposed to. You see, but you see how that happened, though. Everybody pulled up to the house, and all of a sudden, now he in witness protection. How the fuck did the criminal ever get witness protection in this situation? The bald headed ass white dude. That's it. Some bullshit, bro. We gotta, they gotta start, like, bro, who who he did it to, he was really supposed to get his ass whooped that day. Even if he couldn't fight, he was supposed to just smack the shit out of dog, take that chance. You weren't supposed to let bro be pushing on you and all this other shit. Because even if, like, bro, you was in your right to defend yourself, like, and sometimes you got to stand up to motherfuckers. Like them old stories about stand up to the bully and he ain't going to bully you no more. Shit, like like sometimes you got to do this. And I get I get that bro was scared all that. But at the end of the day, 
you allowed him to feel like that shit was okay. Because right. all this shit going on, we both know, we all know that shit going to get swept under the rug. It is. Charges going to get dropped. And then he going to do that shit again as somebody that's not going to be caught on camera. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But now if you would have walked up on bro, what you doing over here in this neighborhood? And he lit there too. Bitch ass nigga, what you doing in this neighborhood? Right. Are you, what you want? Yeah, I want a problem, motherfucker. What we finna do? I but you can tell, dog, that he was punky. He probably ain't have it all. You nah, can tell. yeah, he definitely didn't have it. He had no heart. That's what it was. Cause he grown, bro. You ain't supposed to let nobody talk to you like that. Push up Facts. on you. My you wife, to my wife, wife, nigga. Fuck I you slap, and your wife, nigga. I slap her ass too. I beat your ass, then fuck your wife. That's the type of shit I get on. <laughs> I'm disrespectful. We know I'm disrespectful as a bitch. All right. That's man. why I be chilling though. Like, just don't fuck with me. Like, I'm the type of motherfucker. Don't fuck with me. Cause if you fuck with Facts. me, then we gonna take it there. And bro was supposed to take it there. He's he supposed to take it there. <laughs> For this season, of what? Oh, of our of yeah. Show. Like, we talk about that. Yeah. Like, what are we talking about? Snowfall. What's no. <laughs> Favorite episode this season. Valentine's Day. Uh, fuck no! I hated that episode. I was I so reckless. Shit. I was so out of order. Shout yeah, out to all the trolling crazy. I did when I first. We oh ain't trolling God. no more. We be on it. But uh, I don't know. Our only episode popping in my head is probably the one uh, three hundred uncles up here. Oh yeah, that was that was. I think that was. I think that was a real solid. You know, all jokes aside, we talk a lot of shit and fuck off on here. But I yeah. think that was one of them. Like, we really got some real points across on the episode. You know what I'm saying? I loved it. I'm tongue good. twisting myself right now, <laughs> but I loved it. I say Valentine's Day because I ain't gonna lie. I feel like everybody got their opinion on how they feel about that day. Yeah, that's true. Like we got different responses on that shit. I what about like, you? Um, last week, that was pretty. It's. I feel like it's always cool to get somebody else's opinion because y'all know I'd be tired of y'all ass. So I want to hear from different men, their opinion, stuff like that. Talking to them about the work they do, about what they got going on in the industry. I think that was cool. Um, yeah, last week we talked about it. It was crazy. It was shout a lot of people. Out, shout here. out Wavy Gang. Yeah, shout out to Wavy Gang. And I feel like season two, we got to have some big dogs on here. I ain't going to lie, because I seen a lot of people that came in here. But Wavy Gang, that was a good one. I ain't think nobody ever seen before. Yeah, I think so, too. No, that facts. was super good. We definitely got to, uh, we definitely going to have some Exciting guest and host, yes. things like that. We won't say you know names, but we got some shit in mind. We won't talk about it on here right now. Though. And another thing, if I want to get on the show, oh, what's happening? Another thing, if I want to get on the show, where's the clothes? <laughs> we'll have no motherfucking clothes on this bitch. If you know me, you know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, new podcast. Hell yeah, we naked on it. I ain't got no drawers on right now. I'm going to AZ with no drawers on. Big freak. We all free. <laughs> Big old freak. Yeah, that's how we come. It is goofy ass. Hey, listen, don't don't get it twisted. When I get rich, I'm taking my shirt now. You're gonna be saying, "Girl, he did take his shirt off." But when I go to AZ, I'm taking my drawers off. They were looking for your shirt. That's torture. They on boys. No, they ain't torture. Get you a big nigga now. Because when you get that skinny yeah, shit, okay. <laughs> when he can't pick your ass up while you want to deep on your ass, you're going to be looking for me. But I'm going to guess what? It's going to cost a little extra then. <laughs> oh, my God. You know I'll be turned up. You know yeah. That. Okay. So at, today was actually going to be, we're talking about sucking words. That. <laughs> um, that's what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> um, That's what we were supposed to be doing, talking about self-awareness. And I feel like we need to discuss this because... Self awareness. We have, um, I want us to. <laughs> is it too? Because <laughs> I can't stop thinking about the self love. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Okay, let me. Okay, let me just. Okay, self awareness is having a clear perception of your personality, including strengths and weaknesses. They shirt off. Thoughts, you did right. <laughs> thoughts, beliefs, motivations, and emotions. Self awareness allows you to understand other people and how they perceive you. That's a big thing for me because. We be on here sometimes acting a fool. I'm, I'm the first to say I think people perceive me the wrong way. Yeah, oh, and that's important for you to be able to go out in the world and not have all these misconceptions about you. So I want us to talk about self awareness. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to talk about what are some uh, misconceptions about y'all that y'all feel like are not true. But then I want to know how, almost how you almost damn near play into it. Like I can say for myself, my a misconception about me. I got a bad attitude. Um, I'm kind of stuck up. And that is not the truth. I am standoffish, but I am standoffish because 
that's just that's like a part of me being guarded. That's why I'm saying dogfish. But I'm actually cool as fuck, right or wrong. After they get to know you, yeah, exactly. You so I'm not. But you can't. I, you gotta let people get to know you, though. You gotta yeah, let people get to I know do, you, though. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> We're not gonna do that. <laughs> but I feel like that is a misconception about me. Absolutely, like for real. I'm not. I'm not none of those things at all. But I can come off like that. Why do you think people say that? Because I can come off like that. So me myself, I'm going to own up to the fact that I do come off standoffish or like I guess stuck up or whatever. But that's not. That's not how I am at all. <laughs> He's just chilling with his shirt on. Like, hey, like, when you do, when you do. <laughs> When you do things so much, though, I don't care. You might get used to it and not know what you're doing to people. Yeah, but I will say that I, I can own up to that and say I could see how a motherfucker could see that about me. I'm trying to be different, but I'm not. What, what am I supposed to do? Like, if we go somewhere, I'm going to be quiet. That's me. No, I ain't going to care. You got to smile. Yeah, you do have to smile. But... You got like, your thing, to be honest with you, like, you go places with us and yeah. you don't really, you, you're not exactly. a friendly vibe. Like, okay. you just. That's cool to that extent, but if you want motherfuckers to embrace you, you gotta smile at least. But on what when we just went out with we some some friends of ours, <laughs> I was cool as I, I ain't say nothing to them the whole night. The minute she like, you want to drink? Let's drink. Take a shot with me. Thanks. Absolutely, I'm with it. But I'm not gonna be the um first person to be like, oh my god, bitch, that's not me. I'm the no, reason. we never tell you to be that no. either. It's it's one of the things like in that example, you had somebody who's one of those people that she's going to make you yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. she's not going to let you be there. She probably caught the vibe like, oh, that's she, you know what I'm saying? She don't know nobody, whatever she here with them, these niggas. You know what I'm Period. saying? That type of shit. <laughs> so that's why she, hey, you want a drink? Come here, fuck with us. And then she brought the vibe to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go steady. Go steady. Yeah. <laughs> he had to come back and see it. <laughs> Seat nigga, you seat. in my seat with no shirt on. You ain't no big nigga till you take your shirt off, gang. <laughs> what? Do, That's his thing. Know. Yeah, he do That's his shit thing a lot. Real. Like, we go to the club. This nigga, it's time. Yeah, he take his shirt off. <laughs> you know, you listen, you know I take my damn shirt off? Because at the end of the day, it's gonna, when it's time to get it checked, they're going to they gonna remember that shit. Like, this big motherfucker took his shirt off. Absolutely. It's, it takes a lot of confidence, but you know the reason why I say you should be open-minded? Why? It's because you might talk yourself out of business deal not speaking to open up. You don't know who in this damn room. That's At least say, true. be cordial. How y'all doing? I ain't saying be geeky, geeky. But when I walk in, I think I will say, hey, but females be so like, like, damn, what the? F-? I think it is a female thing. I'm I think be honest. so, too. Because you can put me in a room for niggas I don't know. I'll be cordial. What's happening, bro? This and that. But females, you can't put them in a the room. Just- Why she looking at me? Exactly. Or oh, she too cute. Or oh, she this, she that. Like, at the same time, I don't know. But when I walk That's in a room missing. full of women, I'm taking my shirt off. Okay, well, now that we're on you, what is a misconception about you? They say I play too much, but at the end of the day... No, let's pause. <laughs> you do. No, it's not that. Listen, Omar. I, if my mama always told me you always want to make a woman smile. Absolutely. So if That's I got to act a woman, even to make a woman smile, because once you get comfortable, it's a wrap. So that's what I had to do to get comfortable. I'm not going to act something that I'm not. Oh, he's just tough nigga. No. I'm going to make you tee tee, hee hee, feel more comfortable with you. Just, then 20 just, minutes later, you pull your pennies down. And I'm going to have a damn last laugh. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm looking at. We just had this conversation. You got to be yourself, honestly. If you ain't yourself to when you first Sometimes meet Sometimes playing too much on my, like, I don't think, like, I've ever seen you, like, real serious. And that's good because you are, that's like, cool. the life of the party. But Life if is I was good dating for somebody like that, I'd be like, damn, when is you going to be serious? You Everybody don't see that side, though. Okay, that's good. It's a different one. I know I turn it off or turn it on, okay. but at the same time, when it, when you make a woman feel comfortable and laughter in her soul, I'd rather have, make her smile than have her walking around like. <laughs> With an attitude problem, we ain't doing that. Okay. So if I had to act a fool for you, open so you up a little more. So you own that playing yeah. too much. You own that misconception about That's you. That's cool. Okay. You? Shit. Let's pick one. Yeah, that's what want. I think I think the really the main thing that come to mind is like I think a lot of people like a lot of chicks think I'm a hoe for some reason. Child, yeah, that's what I wanted you to. That's what I wanted you, you to select. You want me to say that? Yeah, I'm not. Like I be chilling. You don't feel like you. I'm there's chilling. no evidence of you. I wouldn't say a hoe with him. I would say change his mind too damn much. Oh uh, yeah, and then they throw one more. You know like, that I'm very. Yes, he be like, damn, I want to be with you. Then but they see, say you be like, you gotta fuck remember, that I'm, bitch. I'm a yeah, I'm a Gemini though. So that's just you who, are yeah oh, <laughs> to the core. God. So that's just part of who I am. I like didn't know that. That's that always different. Yeah, yeah. Now do you understand? 
God, <laughs> that man changed his mind. Twenty four minutes. I wake up like I'm like yeah, and then I just it switched. Like I can't help it. That's why I don't do the serious. So you're a hoe, but right? nah, like, I mean, they this. say that you're a hoe. Yeah, um, I'm really like. That's no, what it is. no, that's oh, oh no, okay, not hoe. <laughs> you just indecisive. Indecisive, like no, I'm not a hoe. But do you yeah, feel nah. like you entertain multiple women? I mean, you're supposed to when you date. Yeah, okay. when you date, I don't care. I ain't, in ain't no time to that. Like at the end of the day, he being grown because what well, he gonna be a selective hoe? He gonna be like, okay, like, I'm gonna be a hoe for her, but I'm gonna be if we her. are dating, I want to get to a point where we're establishing that we're just dating each other. And see, if you get to that point, like me personally, I'm on some okay. like, I want to see what you about, what you about, what I like about you, what I don't like about oh. you, because that's dating. No, it's a, dating. And you're not a I hoe, but I'm going to. Me and my friends are gonna be like, girl, he a hoe. But see, that's on y'all bullshit. Y'all being messy. Cause if I ain't fuck all y'all, you can't say I'm. If a you texting me and then I find out you texting somebody else, I'm gonna be like, "What the fuck?" You can't text. Listen, and y'all going out on dates and shit. He ain't wrong, cause yeah. I don't care. I like to do group dates too. I want to see how you moving with your friends. If you're, if you the weakest one, I need to know that so I can like, okay, since we dating shit, let me wait my options out. He ain't happen. wrong for doing that. You ain't official. Y'all know, yeah, it is what it is. He's not official with you, so he ain't wrong. Don't feel some type of way, cause you'll do it to me. You'll backdoor me too. Girl, I got the ugly friend. Let me go slide him DM the other nigga DM. I seen that happen before too. So the so the the whole misconception you just not that's you not you not owning that. I don't know where it comes from. I am a. I think you're very. I am the great. I think that my conversation and that's what it is. My you're conversation make you think it's something that it's not, and I'm gonna let a chick feel that way the whole way. And I think that's where the whole whole shit. You don't feel in like you're flirtatious. I always do though. Exactly. I'm not the person. I'm not. I fuck with her. I'm gonna tell you they what's. Come here. I'm gonna tell you what's shit. happening okay. with me. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gonna know I'm doing what I want to do. But then if we get to that point where we was like, okay, it's gonna be me and you exclusive and all that. We gonna get to that. But you gotta get to that because once again, I'm a very indecisive person. So you gotta stick the fuck out for me to be like, damn, I fuck with her. But you know so what I have seen with him though, and this was the game problem. When you see a whole bitch tendency, you change your mind. Hey, sir. You don't want to date her no more. If he said that one time, you got a whole tendency. I'm cool on her. This time I'm finna treat her. Whole tendencies. If I if I see you lying about petty shit, right? You got like one too many times to lie to me about some goofy ass shit. Like lie to me about some real shit. Fact. Don't lie to me about something that I know that you know I'm gonna find out, and then you try to look at me. Like, oh well, that's why I don't fuck with cancers. I go back to that, bro. <laughs> Cancer is some lying motherfuckers, man. Cancers cry too much. Crying, lying, emotional. <laughs> Nah, y'all we get to all the cancers. Cancers is emotional as a motherfucker. For, for no reason, punching, punching trees for the motherfucker. Shit, meet you, cancer. <laughs> he is. They cancer something cancer. serious. Yeah, that's all I can't. Mm-mm. Um. Okay. So, I mean, I do feel like that you were flirtatious. So maybe not now. Well, when I first, I mean, not when I first. Yeah, when I first met you, I feel like I felt like that about both of y'all. So you got to remember when you first met me, I was coming out of a very serious uh, situation. I won't call it a relationship. It was a situation. Okay. My, you know what I'm saying? So okay. it was just like, that's what I had in front of me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to, I'm going to fuck everything. I had to get that shit out of my system. And it just is what it is. But now I'm just on some chill shit. Like, was that, yeah, that is grown. true. Your demeanor now versus back then is very different. Yeah, I was a force. I know that. So I will say that. I feel like you got to go through stuff, though, to honestly know who you is. Yes, I agree. You do. That's it. At 26, we still learning who he is. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. young as a bitch. I agree. Um, so I guess the next question I have is, are you happy with what in life? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I wake up in the morning and breathe every day. Okay. Hell yeah. I wake the fuck up, take care of my kids. I ain't got them. I have my fun. And I ain't got shit to complain about. Got See, here's the thing show. with me. It's 24 days in an hour. However you spend your well, shit. Hey. Whoa, that's how you feel. Hold on, pause, nigga. Say that shit again. Say that. No, no bullshit. Say that shit again. Say it's twenty. It's twenty four days in an hour, boo. It's twenty four hours in a day. You know what I said. I just speak fast. It's twenty four hours in a day. The way you spend your hours is how differently the way I spend it. So if you want to sit around, play the game all day, yeah. be on the internet trolling all day, that's on you. Okay. I'm gonna get some motherfucking money, no matter if it's legit. Illegal, whatever, how the fuck he's gonna be? I'm gonna get to this money regardless. Yeah, we gonna get. I ain't gonna say money make everything, but at the same time, when people don't be making money, they 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 buys is fucked up and they bring bad energy. But you are happy with your life, right? Hell yeah. 
Yeah, you can't be around us right now if you ain't got no money. Facts. I'm not saying money as far as happiness, y'all. I'm just saying that period. makes me happy. I don't. That makes I, wanted, me happy. I was oh, fucking mad as a bitch when I was broke. I don't want to be. <laughs> <happy. laughs> what y'all really want for my nigga? That's how niggas would. When you fucked up, you bring out bad energy for real, like. But let's not think materialistic. Let's think like I'm speaking on when I'm saying happy right now. I'm speaking like like emotionally. Emotionally, I am. are you happy with yourself? I Hell guess that's yeah. what I should say. Yeah, I feel like you know I work with work on that a lot though because okay. depression and all that shit is real. So is. I done been to them stages and all that shit. Absolutely. So right now I do everything. That's probably my shit. My fault. Yeah, like emotionally, you know, to uh, put your shirt on. <laughs> she on I'm out putting you know, she on. So fucking <laughs> she on his heels about this shirt. Hell no. Nah, you know, emotionally though. I ain't gonna lie. It was a point in time, I swear to God, I thought the, the devil was in me, but I thought of killing myself when I was fucked up before. Like a couple years ago? Fucked up. And you know it's crazy? Too deep, but like, how no, like, I ain't had dumb ass for down. myself. Like, for real, like, it took my knees to call me to say, hey, you straight? It ain't gotta be towards no money. Call me, make, have a conversation with make sure I'm right. straight. Because mentally, a motherfucker, you can do some bullshit when you mentally messed up. Fuck for real, up. for real. And I was to that point like, man, fuck it. I ain't got nothing else to live for. Yeah. And I, that was I was fighting demons at the time, but at the same time, you do have to keep it a thousand with yourself too. It take your real niggas. You know who your friends is. Yeah. When she hit the fan for you, and nobody reached out to you, you know who your real niggas is. A simple conversation goes a long way. You know how people could have had a conversation before the things they did in life. Right. That's right. Exactly. I have somebody just be there for them because when you, I mean it's. I don't know. Like, I try to be content with being alone, but I also be wanting people to be there for me, too. But at the end of the day, I want to be content with being by myself because I don't know, because I depend on myself at the end of the day. I'm a very, like, y'all know I'll be at That's home. that Leo shit, though. Okay. That's how I feel. I swear, I don't need nobody for shit. Yeah, that's how I feel. Like, I I'm going to make myself happy. I don't need nobody else to make me happy. So, as long as I got myself. And then, I'm at good. the same time, you do got to watch who you vent to, though. That's why yeah. a woman will never get 100% from me. The reason why. Never. That 20%, percent i give you 80. I got to keep that 20% to myself. Because you take that 20, you'll run with it, throw it in my face. You like, cr- damn. You cry to your bitch one time, and now all of a sudden, every, every time y'all get into it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What'd she say? Like, oh, hell yeah. yeah no so- bull. Like, I don't care. And like, when you depression is a motherfucker though, you don't even know when, but you know when a person kind of depressed when they vibes fucked up. Yeah, absolutely. And then you had a conversation like, what's going on? Like, elaborate with me. Like, I ain't the type of nigga you can tell me what problems you're going through, and I vent with you. Yeah. But at the same time, I hate a motherfucker that complain, 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 That's true. and never try to fix the situation they in. Right. That's irritating. Get yourself up out of that. Whatever get yourself you got up. going on, get come on now. What the fuck? Um, I guess that leads me to my my next question. For me, a lot of my childhood trauma is not, I shouldn't say trauma. I feel like growing up black is hard. My mama was young. She ain't not be no parent. She was mean as a bitch, mean as fuck. I ain't know when I'm finna get cussed out. That shit, you carry that shit with you. Being cussed the fuck out, That's being called name. a bitch, being called out your name. Like, you like, damn, bro. So, like, you damn near be angry. That childhood trauma, like, sticks with you. <laughs> Absolutely. No, I definitely PTSD. feel like that. And I be wanting to tell her, like, my little sister got it. Like, my little sister did we 10 years apart. So, my little sister is different. But I be wanting to tell my mom, like, you. She was a bitch, bro. Like, it was so hard dealing with you. So now I feel like I be so closed off from people just because, I don't know, I'm still dealing with childhood shit. Like, I damn near need you to apologize. Man, sit your dumb ass ass down. Did you ever have a conversation with her? No. I know she said she was in therapy and stuff. You should. I feel like it's just going to be so hard for me to tell my mama, like, you you want a good parent, bro. You You grown now. You don't live with your mama shit. Yeah. I had that conversation. Hey, look, you fucked up. I'm right. good, but you fucked up. I don't like how you handled this yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. And right. I don't want my kids to deal with that. That's how I feel like it's in, it's important that we break that like generational. Curse. It's it's hard though. That type of shit hard. Like I don't have them type of situations. Like anybody who knows my mother, you know like she cool as a bitch. Like yes. talk your shit to her, all that yeah. shit. Like yeah, I got cussed out a lot. She never like called me like you whole ass nigga, no shit like that. Like I just got cussed out, nigga. Why the fuck you? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I think my shit. Kind of growing up, I was more so exposed to certain shit. Okay, you know what I mean. Like, 
uncle was a pimp. <laughs> seen the whole bitches at a young age. Like yeah. I seen that type of shit. Moms was getting money. You know what I mean? She was handling her business. So it wasn't like a I ain't had trauma as far yeah. as like on some fucked up shit or seeing shit out, you know what I'm saying? But I seen certain shit, knew certain shit, and it wasn't they fought. They just they who we are now type shit. So while we talk, like say y'all don't got kids, I got two. We know that. So mm-hmm. it's like I try to watch myself now because I'm like, damn, like my I'm son, my person. daughter, they picking shit up that right. I don't necessarily want them to pick up. And then at the same exactly. time, for me, I done had it in my head that I try to just keep shit real as I can with them too. Right. Cause I don't want them to grow the fuck up and to be like, damn, this is what's really going on out here. My dad was on some bullshit. He didn't show me shit, didn't tell me shit. Now he up. So I want him to know like every aspect of like to be an all around good person, you gotta have every, in my opinion, you gotta have every aspect of this shit. Right. And just know about certain shit. You ain't got to be in certain shit, but understand and know right. and respect it too. So you know not to fuck with certain. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. So I don't know. But even that cussing out, that's I'm not. I'm not here for that. Yeah, I, I try not to. But I mean, sit your ass down, folks. Like it's hard. <laughs> and you really it's be hard. That. <laughs> like, but I don't want to shit down. <laughs> I try, and I try not my, to. My, some kids need that. Like I was. My mama used to catch me up. I need. But why that do shit. you feel like as a child I need, you I need that? That is sad. I needed that. I was bad as hell. Listen, when the daddy is not like my stepdaddy died, he did damn good job. Okay. But when my mama, once that they died, I was seven years old. My daddy wants shit. He take care of shit. That nigga, listen, he's having a baby at 50 years old to this day right now. A brand new baby. Damn. So when I turn 50, I'm going to have a, a, a little brother that's 18. And then you teach your grandkids to be good. What the hell? You, you, you force advertising. But at the same time, when. A black man grows up without a father in the household. He respects the shit out of his mama because I don't care. Okay. My mama, we seen her go through that shit like firsthand, like literally. Yeah. That's the shit that made me. I motivated myself like, you know what? When I get older, I'm going to make sure my mama's shirt sure because I see what the hell she went through raising these three damn kids. We ain't had no structure out there. When my stepdad died, we ain't had no structure after that. My mama was work, 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 work. She did the most that she can do for us at the same time. And I feel like and we I, raise I ourselves wanna, a lot, too. And to I want to speak on that, too, because it's like, I, I forgot what the fuck I said on Facebook like two weeks ago. But like plenty of chicks, it was like that order shit. It was like, what woman comes first? Oh. And I'm like, okay. shit, at the end of the day, like. My mama. It's, shit, it's, honestly, it's like, it's my daughter. What? I forgot the order I said. But either way, my wife won first. And everybody was like hopped on my heels. Like Maybe saying. My mom was in yeah. first. I'm like, fuck, my this, was, this the woman who raised me. This the woman who made me be that man when the men in my life really want shit. Fact. Pops weren't there at all. Yeah. Like, I ain't had no real role models. And I think I came out to be a pretty decent nigga. I right. fuck up. I know that shit. But to look at it on a grand scale of shit, like, she did a pretty decent job. So... In that fact, mom's gonna always be able to call me. I got you. Yeah. That don't mean it's taken away from my wife or no right. shit like that. I feel but like that's a big thing. You too. know what I'm saying? And a lot of she's like, oh, you wrong for that wool. Like, yeah. first of all, I ain't trying to wife or fuck none of you hoes. So why are y'all even mad? Right. I don't at my opinion. I think it's a woman perspective. Like, it hell is. no. That's what it is. My that's OG was is. here. I don't care. Like, that's what it is. To this day, like, I got some shit that I got to, when I get rich, what? Well, leave that shit there. We gone. Right. Yeah. You you said for life, like, cause she put me in a position to win. She did as much as she could. I see her struggling and all that shit. And we got older. I'm like, Mom, I don't need you. Leave that, leave that bill on the table. I got you. And she's like, Why are you doing me like that? I'm like, Mine ain't like that. But you made sure I was straight for 18 years. Now, my mama never kicked me out of her house. Okay. Real talk. I left on my own. She didn't keep me out that next. I probably got on her nerves enough. That's why some kids need their ass whoop. Some kids need to get kissed out because at the same time, you know how to be pressing the button with your parents, especially if they ain't going through. If if you if you see a mama going through shit, like I used to get my mom when they used to come to my games. Like, mom, what the hell? You don't never come to my games. Shit, you at work getting to the money to take care of me. Shit, something that my daddy ain't doing. So why I'm gonna knock you for trying to take care of me? Yes, that's when I had kids. You do got to be all around because kids do pick up on this shit. Absolutely. So that's why you don't need to be cussed out. Cause you then do. they go to daycare you school, do. talk about bitch hoe, and then you looking crazy. No, nah, your crazy. kids gonna know. My kids ain't never went to daycare school and call nobody no bitch no. My kids are great examples, but my kids can also rap every fucking lyric to King Bond album. Right. They know all the bullshit and what come with it. So, but guess you know what? what they going to school doing that. You know what I mean? They also going doing yeah. the great grades, all that type That's of good. shit. Like you gotta have that well roundedness in the whole situation of it. You know what I'm saying? I agree. But well, how you feel like if your mom was your best friend? You like, nah, I could do whatever with her. 
that my mama was my best friend, but she also was my fucking mean as fuck too. She knew the limit. She knew the thin line between that. She's like, okay, I can be your friend. Take yeah. time. I still got to be your mama. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I grew up in a two parent, not two parent, in like separate households. So the best friend came into play when it was like, oh yeah, it's your dad's house. He doing this, this, and this. I'm finna come get you because I'm your best friend. You don't like it there. I'm finna come get you. I'm like, yeah, mama, come get me. I don't like you here. I could do more shit at my mama's house. So I feel like I, that's another thing. I don't want my kids growing up. I don't want that shit at all. That yeah. shit is weak as a beast. That's how bodies come. Never mind. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Hold on. 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 Hold I don't bring nobody around my kids. When I, it's my week with my kids. When I got my kids, I ain't fucking with nobody. I don't give yeah. a fuck who you is. You got to right. be like a real friend for, the, yeah. for you to come around. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> I lost my trade of thought. I don't know. They said you, yeah. you got the Zaddy hat on. They just said, hey. <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't, you know what I'm saying? You got to really, when you got kids and you dating and all that shit, you got to really be mindful of who you bring your kids around. You know what I'm saying? A lot of time, motherfuckers be around for the wrong reason. You got a lot of these females who rather chase a nigga instead of yeah. be a mother. Right. You know what I'm saying? They'll try to make it seem like they mommy of the year when in reality, you ain't shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so many times, the fathers get looked at as they ain't shit or this or that, or they get all the hype and the heat from shit that we don't talk about the mothers out here who ain't shit and ain't y'all doing their job. You that. know what I'm saying? Not, y'all don't bash y'all kids' mom. And Even when it don't be shit. You ain't supposed to. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to keep that shit player and do your job. And my kids always don't have something I didn't. That's a father growing up. So but I one thing fuck about what I dislike, like, me. I hate when people try to say back in my day compared to now. Yeah. You got to switch it up because whatever happened, like, in the biblical days, that was raised different. I, mean, I came in a household where the man <laughs> has to do. You can't do that because it's different lifestyles that we live. It's different stuff that's going on where you can't go for that. I was raised like this. Okay, yeah, I was raised by this, but at the same time, you do have to mix it up at the same time to make it make sense, too. Because it's all... I seen the podcast today, the woman gonna say, well, if I dated man, he gotta pay my mama bills, my sister bills. I seen that, too. My bills. Like, what? Look That's here. back then. Do that back then. We talking about now. We back, talking about. Fuck that, nigga. Back then, I wasn't paying your mama bills. Your sister. Bitch, fuck you and your mama <laughs> and your sister. No, no deal. Like, you ain't finna act like... She was I'm dead a, ass here. She was dead ass here. I seen exactly what we talking about. You're not finna act like I'm entitled to take care of your whole fucking family because I'm fucking with you. Right. Like, yeah, I'm a man, so... We fucking with each other, and we really own that type of time. Yo, if I know your mom's fucked up on some shit or whatever, damn, her rent late will be. How? But at the same time, that's not that man's job either. But I'm not taking care. I'm not paying your mama rent every month. Paying uh, no. What your mama did for me? Your mama fucking too. (laughs) Oh, okay. Um, and this was crazy too. Another thing, when people do, do y'all feel like growing up in a household when your mama put bills in your name, messed up y'all to this day. I never had that. Oh, <laughs> I never had that though. I swear, my mom no, never did that to me. That, not, nah, you remember did that? No, I don't what? know how to say. I nah. couldn't say that. No, like because <laughs> no. not to be rude, that shit is very ghetto. You really don't have a, a control of that. You coming from the hood, shit like that. Happens. You don't have a control of that. Knowing as a kid, you don't know that. <laughs> you don't see what they write on the screen, but. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> she ain't paying no attention to nothing she ain't else. That's crazy um, though. Like it's and a lot of black families, they do put. You know, you gotta remember too, though, bro. That comes with like a lot of black families not being financially literate too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. True. So you like, why you still ain't got your shit together? Like, I don't want my kids to like. I when I get to having kids, I want my shit to be together. My why your shit not together? So now I got this motherfucking phone bill, my motherfucking name. I seen a lot of black families. What the fuck? That shit is insane to me. That is insane. I'm glad I ain't have to go through that. Shout out to my OG for Absolutely. not putting me through that because that, shit is crazy. that messes people life up, livelihood to this day. I seen a lot of families break right. behind that. Yeah. And that's yeah. important that we know that. That's like it. we said that on some episodes before. We need to know that. Not, Absolutely. You know, now that we learning, I think that's the thing about it now. Nowadays, black folks are trying to educate themselves and educate the ones around them about all this type of shit. And that's how we that's how we fix the next generations and all that. Because now they we we understand it. We can teach it to them. So they're going to grow up knowing the game 
off top. We trying to figure this shit out. You know what I mean? Our parents, unfortunately, they was doing whatever they was doing. They didn't know it for the most part. And it's just each generation is kind of learning these things that's going to help us all get ahead in the end. You know what I'm saying? And then, Jazz, that's to answer your question, too. Your parents always say you always want to be better than me. They do tell you that yeah, growing up. So you like, why your shit ain't together? Hey, you told me to be better than you, mom. You didn't say that. That's the, that's the point. Shit. <laughs> I knew my shit wasn't gonna be together. That's why I told you. Make sure your shit together. Shit. Right. Do your job. Shit. Um, it is true. What are your fears in life? My fear, honestly, is failure and my kids being fucked up because I don't What's considered fear you though? Like that can mean a lot of to things. To me, it's not to me, honestly, it's being financially stable. Not even stable. I gotta be more than stable. Like I want my kids to. I don't want them to struggle. Like, my mama would, I ain't gonna say she wants shit, but I ain't struggle for real. We might not have had a light or two. Yeah, your mother sometimes. should talk. Yeah. <laughs> you done I feel like. Over the you know what? Times yeah, absolutely. Minutes. You definitely, no, no, no bullshit. <laughs> absolutely. You need to talk to your mama because she don't know how that pain feel. Facts. You know, people don't give a fuck that you mad at them. Not to be rude, but why do it matter now? Here's the thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm 26 now. You got to be careful. Even if you decide to do that, you got to be careful. You hold on to it, but you got to be careful if you decide to have that conversation too. Why I got to be careful? Sometimes them answers you're looking for, you don't get. To be I guess I'm not no, looking I'm not, for no, it. No, 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 no. Sometimes you don't get what you're looking you know, for. You might not be looking for an answer, but subconsciously you're looking for an answer. You want to hear her say certain shit. Sorry. And you might not get that song because in her might, opinion, she ain't did shit wrong because she did what she thought was the best way to raise you. Yeah. Whether you Based agree off, with like, it or not, you don't know how she what she was thinking. That's why I'm not gonna say nothing. I rather, I mean, I don't care. I feel like I care you, but it's more so like I know I'm not gonna be this way. Like I'm not gonna be like this. I'm not gonna be like this with my kids. That's your motivation. Absolutely. So, so my fear, that's another one of my fears. I don't be like my mama, and I want to be. I want my kids to be straight, and I don't want to be no motherfucking failure. I have to make something out of myself in this life. Like, we got... Right. It's, it's too many years for us to be fucked up. And motherfuckers be grown as a bitch and fucked up. Like, you fucked up still. You how old and you fucked up? I cannot be fucked up. Priorities. That's, I can't do that. Priorities. Yeah. So that's my... Mo- I mean, that's my fear. So what are y'all fears in life? Um, I think my biggest fear is dying before I was, like, really able to give my kids all the game and, and, and yeah. material for them to be what... I see them and want them to be like, if I die right now today, I don't feel like I gave them everything that I want them to have. Type right. shit. You know what I'm saying? For them to be the people that I see them being one day when, you know what I'm saying? They grow up. So that's probably my biggest fear is but then, you know what I'm saying? I'm not too worried. Cause these whole ass niggas ain't going to take me out. So we coming with it. <laughs> <laughs> we but up. like I tell back, bro, that tongue is a powerful thing, man. Period. That's how we talk about self awareness and how the world perceives us. Real for it. that tongue right is a oh, I, want, I want a nigga to perceive me as not the nigga. <laughs> don't run up. I'm a, with every bone in my body, every ounce, every my last breath. Okay. I'm gonna make sure that you go under before I do. <laughs> I'm not free with kill. none of that. I'm free kill. I'm going. I'm going home to my kids. Omar, what is your fear? How is this and overthinking? Okay, I'm gonna start with overthinking. The reason why I, I, I hate overthinking because you can change your opinion over. Over too many things. Yeah. That's why my bro be like, and I'm like, hey, fool. He can see me on your ass. No, no bullshit. No, it's like overthinking. You. That shit can mess your business deal up. You can, okay. like, okay, I'm going to go this route. No, I'm going to go this route. Oh, I'm going to go this route. We can stuck to your first plan and make that shit happen. Let's see, I just want not to even cut you off, TP, but I just want to say, he is so right about that. And like, I ain't going to say my business venture because I don't know who the fuck watching. Yeah. But I got some new shit that's been going. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to stop bullshitting and switch my mind up. And right. I'm, I'm going to just do this shit. And now nah, that shit is there. Like, you talk yourself out of business, little, no, for real. Fact. So for so, overthinking. I'm, I am done kind of settled myself down on one thing. And I'm, that's good. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, my And mom. then like grudges too. Like somebody had pissed me off from years ago and I still hold that shit against you. And that's not good. You should. You say you should. I still niggas. I'm sliding. Off. But this is this is why I hold grudges though. This is the main reason I hold grudges. I can have a conversation with you, and we can agree to disagree, but at the same time, we can agree to disagree. But at the same time, it's the reason why you got that grudge. Like I don't just have grudges with people. Yeah. You for every cause it's effect. You cause that for me to act like that. I don't think it's more of a... And I'd be like, after that, I'm not dealing with you no more. I swear to God, I, I'm I'm too heartless. Yeah, I, I think that's a Leo show. I'm heartless. I don't care no more. I don't think once that's I'm on the grudge, Once I wash my hands, I'm cool on you. 
I don't think that's holding a grudge. I think that's just respecting the fact that it's fuck niggas. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be around motherfuckers. Even I don't think that's though, holding like, a grudge. You can cross me once. I'm cool on you. When I'm saying I'm cool on you, I'm cool on you. And you're going to hate me because I'm going to throw it in your face, too. Um. Okay, so next, what when we're speaking on women, what are your fears in a relationship? For me, I'm going to say my fear is not... The love I'm giving you is not going to be reciprocated. That's my first fear. And then my second fear is going to always be another. And I know we joke about being cheated on, but for me, it's always been. I'm beating your You ass be telling me like a nigga going to cheat on you. So for me, it and is, is like, cheat. I do feel like I'm never going to be enough for somebody. So that's, that's, that's my fear in a relationship. That's deep. What's yours? Damn. Um, <laughs> in a relationship. I'm not a hugger. I don't like hugs and all that. Nah, um, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell do you like? You said fear. Fear, big fear in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Shit, probably motherfucker cheating on me and bringing something back. Like I'm big on like in my next relationship. <laughs> like you just tell me what's happening. Like if you decide to go <laughs> fuck bro down the block, just let me know so I know not to fuck with you if I want to fuck with you. Okay. Don't be out here fucking niggas and shit. But this ain't never happened. But I'm saying that's a fear of mine. Like. I'm whole time I'm loving the shit out of it because I don't believe in cheating like that. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm in a relationship Let's with just you, pause one second. Okay. You don't believe in cheating, Brandon, but you I want don't. me to so you be telling me I so don't. much your nigga is gonna cheat on you. They are you tell me that all the time. You're telling me today at 758. I said I don't believe in cheating. I'm a fucking but you're telling me not many niggas think the way I think. Shit. Okay. You getting <laughs> cheated on. Your dumb ass down. <laughs> <laughs> By ten on <laughs> by ten on one at thirty two. Keep going, Brandon. But yeah, nah, it's um, yeah, no, nah, I just I'm not with the whole cheating shit, like because yeah. I don't. When I get in a relationship, I'm not gonna cheat on that person, and I expect that same respect in return. Shit happens. Then we also know. Let's go there too. Women cheat because you really love the next nigga. It ain't. <laughs> I'm cheating because I'm out here at the club with bro. Them this bitch bad. She going so I'm gonna bust her down and go come back home. You cheating because you been on the face with this nigga. You done fell in love with this nigga. You hate me now because this nigga done made you think that I, he better than me and shit. You know I'm right. No. You know I'm, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I ain't tripping. No. That's Did how they that shit goes. I really like him. Like, hold on. It do kind of be like, girl, I like him. He be, you know, but it's not like I'm in love. It's just like, he's what you not. So he temporary. He not. He yeah, right. that's he's what they what you're not. Yeah, that is truthful. That is not I true. I have heard that. Listen, I have heard that from women. They do is. say the next nigga that they fucking with is what you ain't doing. Exactly. Listen. What you not what they what you not doing at that moment and bro slide in and make her think that and then she gonna go with bro and he ain't shit either. He the same exact the type same of way nigga. He got you the same way all you niggas is the same when it's all said and done. It ain't too many different shit going on. It's, way, it's the way you how you make him feel it. Screaming black men. Black black love, black I, don't no cheat. I just said that I don't cheat. I just said that like five fucking times. Nigga, all that? niggas is not the same. Hey, hey but black men don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, real talk. Two different mindsets. Facts. Okay. Oh, what what are your fears in a relationship? What do you fear? Marry and divorce. Marry slash divorce. Okay. The reason so you why don't want to be married or getting married and then getting divorced. Right. Okay. So my thing is with that, you're not going to take up what the hell I made for this empire and taking it and run with the next thing. No, we're not doing that. Because you got in your head like, okay, I might be one day like the Quavo and Sweetie situation. Yeah. I should have put in my name. What? So you can take it to these next thing? No. And that's my thing. Like, shorty, you not finna. Anything we got going on when I'm with you, bitch, if we break up, you leave, I die. You not finna experience none of that shit with the next nigga. You gonna have to get it out the mud. The same way I did. Where's all his money going? To his kids? He ain't leave his wife none? Nope. Like, like. I wouldn't do that. I know, I know this situation, right? Bro died. RIP to that nigga. We ain't gonna say his name. His baby mama shorty because she didn't get he didn't leave her with shit. He got a couple of baby mamas. You don't know if he left you with shit. I mean, you don't know if he left your baby with shit. Mm-hmm. You just not getting shit. Right. Why do he have to get his shit that way he did to you? Because you his baby mama. Give it to the mama. He probably gave it to his mama. Like he said, if I die, I'm gonna give my, my uh insurance money to my mama. She gonna take over. She gonna be the gonna, main I'm... beneficiary, and she gonna take all the shit <laughs> you know, and make sure my kids. Right? I know she gonna divvy that shit up like that. You know what I'm saying? You always gonna leave your spouse some whatever the case is, but for the most part, my only concern is my fucking kids. Right. Like even if I'm married, like that like comes I... first. This is my seed right here. Absolutely. 
And that's my thing, like the whole divorce thing. So you plan it on to take my shit and run with it. Man, yeah. death do us part on the Absolutely. Jig. Like, Man, I do not, not want to get divorced at all. It's not an option for me. If I walk down the aisle with you, sure, you're stuck. And then if you stuck, you cheap, it's cheaper to keep her, too. That's yeah, facts. they say that, too. Because I got some old heads that's married right now. Like, fool, I'm my divorce, and I'm my bond a lawyer. And she's not taking all my like, damn, damn money. I got a lawyer up to just say I don't want to be with this nigga no more. Pay for work. That's fucking crazy. Um. Okay. When you can't sleep at night, what are you usually thinking about? Money. Yeah. That's that overthinking. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I swear to God. Perfect example. <laughs> this morning, I woke up at five in the morning for no reason. What would you think about? Some money. Like damn. How can what, what's more ways? Oh, what though? You know what's crazy what's is true? they say when you have dreams about that shit, that shit gonna from the happen. Yeah. You just, I, I just literally jumped down my feet like damn. I need some more money. You jumped up like yes, like had, like had it like you, I screamed out my sleep like ah what the hell? The thing is, especially with people like sense. us, like you, we understand and know the position that we supposed to be in, Face. and the thing is that's why it's so restless on us because we're trying to figure out how the fuck to get to that. Yay, we don't know necessarily the route. It's like you can feel that this is where you're supposed to be and this is what you're supposed to have, but you just don't understand how Absolutely. to get there just yet. And we at that age and that point in life where you're trying to figure that out with every breath in your body. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Cause shit ain't making so, sense if you're not getting true. to them to them points of what you're trying to be. So you know money is like for me, just say having two kids, all that shit, having family and shit, like, yeah. you know, I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do to get to that shit. You know? And then the, this is my thing about money. Like I have people say money ain't everything at the same time. I'd rather have some money and irritate than fucked up with no money and irritate. That's, That's what two different things, you know. Cause people try to use people who use those in that we got what I done grew to learn is people who use those type of no money. they they broke, they ain't got no money, ain't trying to get no money. You know what I'm saying? People they're like content. They're content yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it's hard being fucked up. It's hard being rich. <laughs> it is hard. Just like it's hard up. being in shape and it's hard being unhealthy. Like okay. whatever you do in life, wherever you are in life, it's always gonna be struggles. It's not gonna be easy. Nothing about life is easy one way or another. Okay. So you gotta pick that struggle. So if you gotta if your thing is I know I can wake up at four in the morning every day. Do whatever the fuck this business plan is, and in a year, I'm gonna be sitting down there on a million dollars. Right? Would you not do it? Because just like you waking up at eleven o'clock or two o'clock in the afternoon instead, mm -hmm. and being fucked up for the next year because you didn't want to wake up. You know what I'm saying? And this is my thing. What the hell is y'all celebrating? Like people, let's go out, fool. What we celebrating? Failure. That's what we celebrate. Spending all this money on you, these I'm bottles. I'm gonna spend all shit. my money on bottles. Yeah. To be celebrating with failure all year. We had a good. We had a good time at the club last night. <laughs> yeah, we trying to buy the club, nigga. What? We trying to own this shit. That's very and that's true. what my thing with black people like. They need to get out of that shit for real life. I feel like that's why I be home. I mean, not all the time. No, you I ain't wrong though. You save life. your money when you at home. Sit when you at home, you sit your ass home. I'm manifesting like damn. What else I need to do? What else on my list to do? What else I need to fix on my credit? What else I need to do these next day? So when I be jumping out my sleep, I really be benefiting like damn. What am I doing right to get rich? Yeah. That's Scared the shit out of me this morning. I said, damn, I gotta get rich. <laughs> what for? Like, why you up? Hey, I'm trying to get rich. I'm overthinking. Well, period. That's 100 though. And I feel like you should overthink that, like how you could get more money. Um, we need more. We need more people already. Like we need to get a black community in more. I don't know if they got it already. So no disrespect to if y'all already doing this shit. Y'all just need to make it more known. But yeah. We need like a group. A motherfuckers our age, preferably black individuals, coming from the same type of dynamics that we talking about. We need to all kind of put it together and brainstorm on different ways to get this money. Cause I said yeah. it's different. Us, you know, us three talking about it, us four or five. Well, we right. it's never five of us in a room. But you know what I'm saying? Us having these conversations, figuring shit out. But if it's 20 of us in the room with these same mind with the same mindset and coming putting ideas together, we can put some shit together. Cause these Fortune 500 companies just start by Two motherfuckers doing it on their own. Yeah, it take true. a team, but motherfuckers don't be want to work together. Prime example, like uh, what, what is uh, stock is that shit called? Dizzy coin, Doge coin, Doge coin, whatever. Bro, bro, bro came up some G's a couple days ago in his sleep. He it's said when he buy, up. he said when he going to stock market with his guys, it's like twenty of them. Oh, what we finna do? They take that shit together. What we finna go yeah. invest in now? Nah, what we finna do now? Nah, I've been telling you. they did. They made that money in their sleep. I'm mad because I've been telling this nigga. I just don't understand that. Like somebody has to break it down one on one like, to let me know what down. I'm investing in. Let me know what the good plays is, what's bad plays, so what's good times to invest in, all that. Shit, I don't know all that, but what I do know is I was watching Bitcoin last year, 
this time, it was like at this point in April, it might have been like four G's. It's at 63 now. Wow. When I looked earlier, I've been looking at Dogecoin. I was looking at the shit at four or five cent and the buying the shit the other day at nine cent. And now it's up to, I think it's at 18 cent now. Oh, wow. So even though I just doubled my money off three days, you know what I'm saying? Right. So imagine it's a nine cent. Now imagine that shit gets to a dollar fifty. Exactly. So even if you ain't invest in that shit now, you pr- or you probably if you haven't invested in that shit, motherfuckers talking about it for a reason. Like you said, bro probably got his shit. A he penny. Done. He ain't got to do You know what I'm saying? Anymore. He done came up bands off this shit. And it's only been a motherfuckers only been talking about this shit a couple months. It's only been growing a couple months and ain't no big major thing. So the okay. fact that, like I said, there's money out there. Some motherfuckers cashing in, some people sitting. We got friends that are sitting on this shit. But either way, shit, this is that's part of the financial literacy, though, that the black community, like, this is shit we all got to come in on, on board. Like I said, he don't know it. I really, I know of it. Learned it a little bit, but I don't know it to that point. We got to come in and educate each other. Okay, he don't know this, but he know this. And that's how we going to grow we this shit. Together. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's very true. Um, let me see y'all. Uh, what do you, do you have any regrets? Like in the past you regret, like, um, like any decisions you've made or like, Hell yeah, yeah. any decision, like something big that you feel like would have made life differently for you. Uh, I can't think of really. I said when I went to college, I should have went to school for music. Okay. I swear to God, college is a big networking for, for around the world, I swear to God, you should have used that. I would have took off if I did the same energy I'm doing now in college. What? I would have been tapped in because at first I'm in a place I ain't never been before. Yeah. I know people I don't know. I don't know who this person might know. Right. It's a big networking event. You could just definitely. Now, nowadays, if I did go to college, it'd be because of that. Yeah. That'd be the only reason I go to college for because it ain't even about what you know nowadays, it's who you know. Yeah, that's true. Um, what you, like you say regret is? I don't even want to go into that. This, now, I had conducted myself the wrong way in certain situations with certain people. Okay. You know what I mean? I, like, mean, I will hope that you will have learned from that, right? Yeah, I definitely did. That's yeah. why I know how I want to conduct myself now. Yeah. But, you know, good. you got to learn. Yes. Grow, you do got to learn. You growing, you learning. If I didn't do certain shit when I did it, I wouldn't have a mindset I got now. So, you know, it's all about growth. That's the biggest thing. That's good. Um, for me, I feel like I just, I don't know. I wish I do wish I was more like outgoing sometimes. Not even, I guess I could still do that shit now, but it's hard. I don't know. I feel like it's hard. I do want to be like more. I don't know. Can't change who you is, yeah. though. Yeah, I be wanting to travel more, but I don't have friends. I don't have friends because I don't really talk to people. But my thing I in mean, life, not, yeah, I'm talking about female learned. friends. That's what I learned. You, gotta you can make it a lot of excuses to see till you do it. Like, I learned that. Like, I, I that Leo shit that's true because I'm bipolar too. I could be like, I ain't messing with them. Then I turn around, <laughs> like, I'm messing with them though. That's that Leo shit. For yeah, real. I do be having different modes, absolutely. And I try to stop myself, like, you know what, you can't think like that because you never know who this person might know to put you in a position right. to win. That's true, but I don't know too many genuine girls. No, bullshit. no like, I don't know a lot of genuine, genuine girls, girls at all, and I don't got time for that. shit. Motherfuckers be real messy. Shit, there ain't a lot of just a lot of messy ass niggas in Milwaukee too. My thing is, when I first meet you, I feel you out first, yeah. That first conversation, first impression, that is everything. Yeah. You feel that person out. If you cool on them, be cool on them. If you cordial, you want to be cordial. Well, you just got to know how to move with different people at different certain times because it's niggas that we don't mess with either. To this day, it's messy. Yeah. Like, for what? Yeah, but I, I don't know. I feel like... Mm, um, Have you tried to do it, though? Like, meet new people? No. That's the problem there. You can't say that you you know what I'm saying I right, we know you you gotta try it's hard to meet new girls y'all it's different for guys I feel like y'all be so like open to being like oh yeah he cool as hell girls it's different I'm not, I don't I, know what she's talking about I don't, <laughs> want, I don't want niggas around me if you ain't been around me yeah like how I met him we had a mutual friend we ain't even cool with bro now but <laughs> solid 100 yeah. we just became oh, cool yeah, okay I ain't going to, oh, what's happening with you, bro? How you but doing? where am you I going to meet your... another girl? You know what I'm saying? I don't know about friends. Yeah, man. To your friends. So, so you going to tell like me. My friends and like my sisters, they don't have friends. You see what I'm so you going to tell me you never had met a friend through a friend? 
No bullshit. I'll be like, bitch, that, them your friends, not mine. But see, that's I'm quick to talk, do that. That's, that's <laughs> that mentality. <laughs> that's, that's that mentality. You so you can't, you can't say, oh, I can't meet you because you're not trying oh to Oh, my either. God. Y'all right. Some people do be like, oh, no, my God, don't do this. Let don't me get it wrong, though. All friends can't mix either, fool. I no, agree. You, can. you can't. You so right. Hell that's no. So true. Absolutely. Especially with girls. You can't bring certain girls. Hell no. I shouldn't have fucked your nigga and all kind of other shit. I feel like here I am 26 kind of, you know, get a friend, like, fine. And I don't need a friend. I just wish, I mean, I don't really, the thing my is, friends are just at different places the, and they like. The thing is, friends going to come organically if they're supposed to. You know what I'm right. saying? You don't, that's like a relationship. That's just yeah. another form of a relationship. Exactly. You don't force that shit. Because when you try to force the shit with people, that shit never works. And it's never. So I haven't forced it and y'all telling me to meet people. Oh, I'm not telling you shit. I don't like, I don't fuck with people. <laughs> Y'all know, and I'm not trying to fuck with y'all. Y'all my people. I'll be like, hey, no, hey that's my one thing, I'm cool. One thing about a friend, though, you're not going to see them every day. Yeah. Because you know why? They already trying to make shit happen like the same way you trying to make shit happen. And that's your real friends. You want them around like, me and bro don't kick it every day. He got his life going on. I got my life going on. That's real shit. You're not going to hear from me every day because I'm trying to end the miss at doing X, Y, Z. And if you're my friend, tell me, let's link up at the round table. Give me ideas and give yeah. me a chance to win, too. Because if you don't, that's some hate and shit right there, too. Yeah, you got and things like that. You, sh- even just with shit like that, you can tell when a motherfucker not really your people. Man, sit your dumb uh, ass down. And shit. And when I ask you, okay, well, what's happening with how we do it? Right. And then, like, oh, I can't. You know what I'm saying? Or, oh, it's, you know what I'm saying? All the yeah. bullshit. Like, well, then, nigga, what the fuck we talking about it for? Because the gene friend going to speak up. Hey, fool, this how you get to it. It's up to you if you want to do it. I ain't going to force you to do it. I'll give you the idea. But that's how you know friends, too. That's true. Um, what positive quality do you bring to close friendships? Like I said, ideas mm. at the round table. Yeah, real nigga, mean, all my period. friends, I'm trying to get money with. Yeah. We ain't friends. We ain't, we can't come and talk about money and financial yeah. shit. Then give each other advice on how to grow. And, you know what I'm saying? That's, like I said, it's not even financial shit. We'll, you know, we, we niggas for real. We talk about anything from the financial shit to relationship shit. Like, right. we can't sit down and talk Just like about, the, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, we don't need to be around yeah. each other. I can't, you can't be my man's if I can't tell you when you're in the wrong, too. Right. That's very true. If we can't tell each other when we're in the wrong, I'm cool on you because you always right. I don't like that. Don't always be right. It's times where I'm not going to be right. Yeah. It's times, bro, like, hey, for you was out of order for that. Think about, like, you know what, bro, you was right. So, honesty, being able, to, I guess just being able to be a, a fucking good friend. Honesty. Uh, Communication. Commu- okay, communication. No, nah, for real. Though, niggas, some niggas don't move right, and then it irritates you. Like it's it's plenty of people that been around us that used to do some weirdo ass shit. You like, bro, that ain't it. Yeah. We give you the benefit of the doubt. You still doing it? We cool on you. So, Stay what do you, you feel like as a friend? You bring into the table as it, some real like you just a real genuine person. Laughter, like I. That's true. You fucking. If right. people are having a bad day, I want you to laugh. Like that's very like, true. That that cleans your spirit too. Like. I agree. That motivates you. Like, damn, I lasted. Bro made me lie to that. Whatever he said. Because you don't know, at the end of the day, you don't know what people are going through. Because I ain't never been around you and you ain't acted a fool. Oh, I got to act That's me, though. You got to always <laughs> remember that's to true. smile. I feel like all your friends you serve, to. like, a different purpose, they, like, that's in true. your life. Absolutely. Like, I feel like, um, I don't know. We no. definitely be having some good good conversations. That's why when we was like, y'all was like, we going to do the podcast. I'm like, we already be talking about so much shit. We crack jokes talk about relationships. We talk about real shit. So it makes sense for us right. to be here as a group. Just pretty much talking our shit in front of people. For people. With people. No, so I right. agree. And that's if right. you're the breadwinner, though, you got to help your team if you see they slacking. You got to. It's a must. You're not a boss until you help somebody. Facts. That's why I said if everybody ain't if everybody ain't pulling up first class and shit, that shit make sense. You laughing? I'm dead ass shit. Facts. That shit got all oh, that shit got to make sense. You can't you can't be the one nigga moving a certain way. And, and then if you know your man, you know if you ain't having any shit, speak up for him. Like, hey, for I got you. You know what I'm saying? Talk to him though. But it's ways how you talk to too. The way you talk to a man, you got to come in like a man too. You can't be talking to somebody like you, they kids. You need to do this. You need to do that. No, you get a nigga options. Hey. X Y Z. Listen, I'm big on. I'm gonna let you know if I got some game on some shit. I'm gonna let you know, and whatever you do is what the fuck you do. But ain't no nigga gonna ever say be love and tell him X Y Z. <laughs> and that's all I. That's <laughs> my whole goal. Hey. See, as long as the motherfucker can't come back and say, "Oh damn, you knew this shit, you ain't tell me," then we good. That's it. Um, do you think that you talk more than you listen? I'm gonna answer for. I'm gonna answer this for y'all. <laughs> do you talk more than you listen? 
Oh my yeah, I talk more. Hell yeah. You talk more than you listen. Brandon is a good listener. I was like, I don't talk. <laughs> I guess you? what? You talk more than you listen to. <laughs> That's how we get into it because you talk more than you listen. I be wanting you to listen to me. So I feel like you talk more than you listen. I think, do I talk more than I listen? With you, I talk more than I listen. Yeah. <laughs> You know I talk more I listen. Why? Control. I'm a leader. I, you can't control me. I'm not having but that. Do you, oh my, that's not me, always though. good to talk a, more to you. Listen, that's not okay. I was always taught the quietest one in the room is the most dangerous. I ain't saying shit. I just want to peep. I just want to peep what's going on in this motherfucker before I start, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't know, like you said, you don't ever know who in the room with you. You don't know what's going on. And a lot of times, I, I'm big on, oh my. Like I said, I'm going to make it home. So yeah. I, don't, I need to know what oh everybody, my. what type of time everybody in this motherfucker on. So I know, okay, bro might be on some bullshit. Shorty over there, cool. You know what I'm saying? I just need to know what's happening. But you know how many times I talk myself out to some shit? Like, yeah, talk my way up. For real, for real. <laughs> now, my piece is a motherfucker. Like, <laughs> my right. grandma taught me that. <laughs> it ain't how you do it. It's how you sell yourself. That my piece is a motherfucker. No, facts. So that's why I talk so much. Like, shit, I can talk my way out this shit. Okay. Let me use what I need to say to get out this gym. Man, I get the gab is definitely a blessing. Do you feel like you um was do gab. you listen with the intent to respond? <laughs> Meaning like you not really list like you're not listening. You just listen you like you listen to me talk, but you ready to just be defensive, you ready to just respond. No, I look, that's a good ass question. When you antagonizing <laughs> me, hell okay. yeah, I'm gonna speak up. Okay. Because if this shit falls, I'm gonna tell you like oh hell no. Okay. You're yeah. not finna tell me something that I know what the hell I'm talking about. But it's important to be a good listener. I feel like That's you true. need to listen and you need to understand. Try to like empathize with where this person is coming from. That'd be a big thing for me and with men. Like I feel like y'all don't be like listen to what I'm saying. See, my saying. thing I is everything though. Like, you can tell me I have to sit back. I have true. to sit back and think about it. Evaluate. Think okay. about it. Okay. okay. I'm just saying. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna listen to you. And if I agree with it, then you know we are gonna go from there. But yeah. But let's have a productive no argument. Bullshit. If we gonna argue, let's like let's not like. Let's come at least come to an understanding at but the end of the day. You can't say that because everybody don't think like you. And that's facts. That's everybody something. don't think like you. You, you got to remember, like, you got to. Especially you got to, a strong personality. Everybody but I feel like as a, to everybody. Yeah. But so, when you're dealing with a, a woman, I want y'all to be able to, like, listen. I do. I listen. Do you listen, Omar? This is more of an Omar conversation. <laughs> you know I listen. I don't know what you're I'm, saying. I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. Say, oh, my yeah. thing is, you know why I don't listen? Because I got a time and point in my life. Why I didn't have shit and want a woman listen to what the hell I had to say. Okay. My, you know why niggas That's close facts. to his man so much? You That's gay, right. you this not shorty, I ain't gay. These niggas listen when I didn't have nothing. So I respect I these men. Because, real, little mama get mad. Oh, you always with your friend. It's not that because my niggas is here first. Okay. My mama, she can only listen so much, but your niggas, they gonna make sure you wrong or right. They gonna tell you, hey, for you out of order. Okay. And they gonna stand on that shit. And you, you gonna get mad at the same time. It's, it's plenty times he told me shit. I'm like, man, I ain't listen to that nigga. Then I sat back, like, okay, <laughs> let I'm, me reevaluate. But was right. Okay. I'm that friend. I don't give a fuck how you feel about it. You are, because you be some shit. I'm a, a fucking they play. I'm, it is you know what it shit. is. I'm like, damn. I don't and it don't, that shit. You know what I'm saying? It don't even matter what it is. I done told him, him shit about shit. I probably shouldn't have spoken on with bro. I'm like, bro, yeah. I don't think you right about that shit. Yeah. Like, you telling me, because I feel like if somebody brings something to me and we talking about it, I'm not going to just sit here and nod my head with, like, if, you out of order if you want some fuck shit. I'll tell you. But everybody needs a friend like that. So yeah, you do. Yeah, that's so you know. I know I've I i, I needed that shit when I was like 17, 18, 19. Yeah. I needed that friend. Like, nigga, you need to chill. Absolutely. All my friends was like, hey, go ahead, do that, bro. Woo woo. Yeah. The whole time trying to fuck my The people that telling you the shit though, they didn't experience it too. Yeah, that's true. But like I told my mama, do not tell me don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Cause I'm gonna do it. Give me reasons why I shouldn't do this. Okay, I experienced this. This is why you shouldn't do that instead of telling me don't do this. Yeah. It goes back for me, though, that I'm going to learn from your mistakes and try not to make the same. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so if you're telling me not to do some shit, like you said, you give me that reason, then, you know, yeah. bet. You rob banks and did X, Y, and Z time. Now, no, I'm not going to rob a bank. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, shit. Um, and then I guess, what do you want to be remembered for? Or like as um like what would you want somebody to remember you for? Like just I want somebody to remember me as well, I guess for being reliable. Like if my if my sisters call me right now, like you need something for me right now, and I got it, you gonna have it. You need me to pull up, I'm coming. Like I want you to know that I was I don't know, like I was there for you. Shit. Man, I'm a real nigga. And all these people I give a fuck, honestly. <laughs> Love y'all to death. 
I don't give a fuck if anybody remember you besides my kids. Facts. Like, if, you know, if I get to that point where my name is in statues and all that type of shit for whatever fucking reason, then that's cool. But okay. the only opinions I'm worried about is my two kids as of now and if I have some more than theirs. Right. You know what I'm saying? I can't... You can't you can't worry about what nobody thinks about you. Damn sure when you gone, like that's the last thing I give a fuck right. about right now. Because motherfuckers, last night they, they got opinions about you regardless. You could be the coolest motherfucker, had a yeah. purest heart, and somebody gonna be like, man, fuck Jazz. Why you don't like her? Yeah. Shit, I don't like the way she smiles. She just I being like hurt. That's how people be with me too. I be like, damn, I didn't know you. I ain't but that's, that's me like competition. That. That's why you can't worry about it. But if you go off of what people think, you gonna drive yourself crazy. But I want to be. That's why I do music. Like, what do you want to be remembered for or as? Oh my! Top of the trenches. I don't even know what I want to be remembered as because I don't have I'm no. Like four, I guess it's. I don't have no empire behind me. That's why okay. I don't know right now. But that's why I do music. Like your character, like how you know. I guess what I'm trying to say, like self confident. Okay. They're like that nigga Absolutely. had confidence. And they gonna know that. I don't give a hell what y'all say when he came with that <laughs> shit. That's how he came. Or authentic or whatever you want to say, but that's how that man came. Okay. But that's why I do do music. Okay. Because of whatever I went through at that time, if you can relate to that and recite, oh, hell yeah, I did a damn good job because obviously I'm touching your heart and whatever I went through this at this time, you can relate to that shit. That's but true. confident, man. You're not going to be nothing in life until you're confident with yourself. You have to be confident with yourself because that overthinking shit, that's that's that a terrible, that's, that's too much deadly. going on. That shit daily. Yeah. I do that too much. I agree. I'm the same way. But I don't care what nobody say. Cause if you live by what ca- people will care what they what they say about you, yeah. you are gonna drive yourself crazy. You never gonna get nothing done. Oh, this person thinking about this person about me. This person saying this about me. The hell with it. Somebody yeah. gonna always yeah. have something to say. Absolutely. Um. Okay. This is my last question. It's gonna be just a lighter question. It's not. We was real deep today. That's this motherfucker episode today was called deep. Um. <laughs> if you could only watch three movies for the rest of the, your life, what would it be? Me. Let me go first. Poetic justice. Uh, say the last dance. That's my shit. And um, what kind of movies you talking about? Any dog trying not poor. Poetic justice. Say the last dance and Friday. Then my three for the rest of my life. I don't need to watch none else. That's my. I love that movie for real. Yeah. That's my movie. Go. Honestly, I don't. Poetic Justice. I can't just give you. Uh, y'all know I'm in the side. Not really. But I don't. I don't really watch movies. I just seen Billy the other day. I don't really? watch movies. Not I like reality shows. Okay. Well, what would be your last meal if y'all can't tell me a movie? Oh, come your on, last man. meal. Last meal. We doing soul food. We gonna have some rolls, some greens, <laughs> some macaroni, <laughs> cabbage. Hey, bro. What you got? I'm. I'm a cookie. <laughs> Man, that's cool. That is cool. That's my type of cooking. So, I, so I got cool. you. You ain't never had no good roast. No. Don't worry about it. I got you. What I you eat on my chicken last Alfredo. meal? I'm sourced up. I need Ooh, chicken Alfredo. You like that. With the Parmesan uh, on there. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of chicken Alfredo, I will be bringing back my can of butter chicken Alfredo. It's some more <laughs> cannabis infused foods coming soon. Oh I should have said that on y'all podcast. Y'all shit cracking. But yeah, definitely coming back soon. Be on the tune. Look out for that. What's the what's the plan for season two? Let the people know what we're doing for season two. We're not gonna be that ignorant, y'all, for real. We're we gonna have, be real. Speak for yourself. Oh. <laughs> we're, gonna have, we're gonna have structure. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have, have structure. Structure is the is the key word for season two. Some more valuable guests, too. But, no, facts. Don't get us wrong. Season one, we had some nice guests. For yeah. sure. Oh, for definitely. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Some valuable guests. Some valuable guests. Like, no, what we mean by valuable is like. People that's higher up that people teach know about. Something. They yeah, can you teach can you learn something. some lessons. And, and like another thing too, season two we're gonna be more consistent. We're gonna be working these social media pages. Yes, so absolutely. y'all can know what so the hell going y'all, on. This person asking right now, what platforms can I listen to this? Shit, tell them. <laughs> we on Instagram, <laughs> topics of the trenches underscore uh, Facebook, topics of the trenches, Twitter. I'm gonna get back to y'all next. <laughs> We getting it. We getting it. We getting it. Listen, we gonna get it together for real. Keep playing. I will have my shirt off on, on every episode. It's on Apple, Spotify, it's everywhere. Oh yeah, Apple, Spotify, all that. All right. Oh, check this out. For season, season two.
season one. Oh, then finale. season two, we're going to have the intro song done. Top oh, yeah, it's going to be crazy. We're coming with yeah. merch and all of y'all. Get ready. You're going to see us on the billboard. Yay. Y'all going to see all these shit. We're not playing no games. <laughs> and the photo show, I might have my shirt off with the topics of the trenches song. <laughs> we coming, gang. We ain't playing no more. All right. Take us out for this talk- finale. Finale. Uh, hit the hit the beat one time, back one. Top of the treasure, kicking those jumping fish. What? Top of the treasure, kicking those jumping fish. Top of the treasure, kicking those jumping fish. Yes, sir. Fat boy, fresh, we checking out. Be love G. Just jazz.